Hey there! Ever wondered about the amazing Barbara May Cameron? Get ready to be amazed by some fun facts about her. Barbara May Cameron was born on May 22, 1954, in Fort Yates, North Dakota. Barbara was a member of the Hunkpapa Lakota tribe. Raised by her loving grandparents, she had big dreams. At the age of nine, Barbara read about San Francisco and vowed to live there and save the world, too. After attending the American Indian Art Institute, where she studied photography and film, she moved to San Francisco in 1975. In San Francisco, just a few years after the Stonewall Riots, Barbara co-founded Gay American Indians. She believed that Native American gay people faced unique challenges different from the wider gay community. From 1980 to 1985, Barbara played a crucial role in organizing the Lesbian Gay Freedom Day Parade and Celebration. Her activism extended to writing as well. In 1981, Barbara contributed to This Bridge Called My Back, a groundbreaking book that discussed issues like racism and homophobia. Her powerful article, Gee, You Don't Seem Like an Indian from the Reservation, explored these topics within the Native American community. Barbara's voice was also heard in the landmark collection, A Gathering of Spirit. Edited by Beth Brandt, this anthology showcased the works of 12 Native lesbian writers. Living as both a gay person and a Native American, Barbara faced numerous challenges. She challenged societal expectations and fought against both racism and homophobia, and even represented Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Coalition at the 1988 Democratic National Convention. Barbara May Cameron, a true advocate for justice and equality, passed away on February 12, 2002. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey to uncover fun facts about Barbara May Cameron. But wait, there's more. Stick around for another captivating video on Fresberg Cartoon, where we explore the fascinating life of Audre Lorde. Get ready for more enlightening fun facts.